So we're going to make um, stuffed mushroom caps, vegetarian stuffed mushroom caps. That's the, we used to make that when we'd watch football. You guys would love that, especially Corey loves this. So we're going to do, um, what I do is I, I stuff it with onion, parsley, sun-dried tomato, and more mushrooms with some breadcrumbs, and I'll show you. It's really easy. But the first thing I'm going to do is, with these are mushroom caps. You can get them at the store, and uh, I have 12 of them. So the first thing you do is you don't wash mushrooms. Some people are not going to like this, but you don't wash them. I just take um, a paper towel and I scrape it off and clean it up like that. When you buy these mushroom caps at the store, they'll say mushroom caps on it. And the reason you want to get these is because these are going to be get stuffed. And all you have to do is pull the stem and, clean, and wipe down the mushroom. There's the stem right here. Just take it and snap it. It comes right off and then you're going to clean it up. When you wash these, they get waterlogged. It's really gross. They like sponges. You should, I, I've never done it. I wipe them. You can have a damp um, paper towel or whatever. And if you really have to, if they're too yucky, you just peel it back. Um, the main ingredient, I mean, the, the bulk of it is onions, sauteed onions, that I'm adding a bunch of other stuff to. And usually, it's just easier for me. I get one huge onion and then cut that up, but we're using stuff we have around the house. When I'm uh, dicing these onions, no matter what size the onion is, this is what I try to do with it, because I, I want to get it uniformed. First thing I do is I cut it in half. Okay, so then you put it on flat side down, and then you start doing cutting through small lines like this. One, and I don't go all the way so that it holds together. Two, like that. Okay, so then I slice it right down the middle. I hold this down. Be very careful when you're doing this. You can cut yourself. You gotta do it easy. And then it still holds because I didn't cut it all the way through. Then you just slice it. The thing is, if you're not comfortable cutting like that, you shouldn't do it because you can, you can get hurt. So it ends up to being a little bit over two cups, just about two cups. Sorry if you're over. Don't worry about it. So I'm just going to prep the little mushrooms that I'm going to use as part of the stuffing. But see, these guys, I'm just peeling. You could wipe them down. But I'm going to cut them up. They don't have to look pretty. So I'm just peeling them. You're taking the stems out? Oh, yeah. For everything, yeah. Take it's going to end up being uh, one of these small packages, eight ounces of the button white mushrooms. That's what I'll end up using. Okay, so then you take the, the button mushrooms, you slice them, you're going to cut them up. Because you're going to mix everything together, saute it, so you want it pretty small because it all becomes a mixture to stuff the mushroom caps. Okay, so this, a bunch of, uh, one bunch of Italian parsley. Definitely want to get Italian for this one, Dottie, because it's not flat. The, that curly parsley is kind of scratchy and yeah. tough. So you want, you want Italian, because it's going to go into the stuffing. I got, that's what I got, right? Mm-hmm. See, flat. Italian. Okay. You need the whole bunch? Yeah, I just got to clean it up. Um, you want to give this a really good chop. You don't want big, huge pieces. Again, it's all going to go into those mushroom caps. So it's not like you're putting it in a salad where you don't care. It's a rough chop. This is really mincing it. Okay, sun-dried tomatoes. These are packed in oil. Sun-dried tomatoes, you can get any ones you want, okay? I saved the chopping of these for last because it's the messiest because of the oil. I just want the board to be not messy. The ones you got, you bought, honey, they're already in strips, julienned. I'm still going to cut them some more, but sometimes they come in whole. So whatever you get, you're still going to cut up. 
So drain it a little bit. Just hold it with a fork and let the oil drip back down to the jar. Just about a half a jar. And I, and I drained, when I pull it up, I drained the oil back into it. It's still going to have oil on it, but you just don't want a lot. This is already a little cut up, but I'm still cutting it more. So if you get them whole, you're going to just chop them, lay them out. So you just preheat the, the oven right before you start sauteing everything. So by the time you stuff them, the oven's ready. You get a, any kind of saute pan. I get this one, but you can get any kind. Okay, so the best thing to do is you assemble, you got all your ingredients ready ahead of time. I got the, the caps, mushroom caps cleaned and waiting on the tray. The, the button mushrooms, the onions, sun-dried tomato, parsley, and Italian breadcrumbs. Put the onions in first. What heat do you have on? I started up on high. You coat it with olive oil, a couple of tablespoons, maybe two, three. So I coat it with oil, the onions, add some salt, pepper, and you're going to saute it till it's just broken down translucent, not so hard. You don't want it raw. After a minute, a couple of minutes, you know, it's starting to break down. You add the mushrooms. Mix those in. And this you want it all to really cook down. Can't be raw. This really gives it an awesome taste. So after you've sauteed these all together, it cooked a few more minutes. I did every one of them a few more minutes, just incorporate them. It's the onions and the mushrooms you want to make sure are really cooked. The tomato, when you throw that in there, you just mix it all up together. And you scoop it in here in a bowl, doesn't have to be this big, but. I just sprinkle this in on top, cover the top of it. Oops. That, then you just work it in. And you'll see it, it'll start absorbing some of the liquid. And then I do it again. It's like almost like salt. I sprinkle it on. Just lightly, you know, on top. Okay, so one more time. This is the third time I dust the top of it. Incorporate it in. Okay. Okay, so after the breadcrumbs done, I throw in the parsley. I didn't use all of it. I ended up not using all of it. Okay. So I used maybe like two thirds of the bunch. Okay. So then, see this is, there's a lot more of it. It's bigger, this little lip thing. So you want to get in, I press it in. So, putting it in the oven. And you want the mushroom cap to cook down, to cook through and down. 
I'll, and I'll be able to check the time in a few minutes. All right, so it's been about 20, 25 minutes. And you gotta just check it. You see how it's, it's mushy, it's cooked through? You touch it, it's not hard. The big ones are done. It's done. That, that took about 25 minutes. I mean, the sizes are a little different. You just gotta take it out. 20 minutes, check it. If you have, if you need to, just put it back in for another 10, but these are done. Okay, we'll open a small one. It's definitely cooked. Okay, so. See how it's the mushroom? The base is cooked. It's all cooked. What do you call this? Mmm. That be the old country. So what the hell is that mean? Okay, Marion. Mmm. There you go, madam. They don't cook like this in France, do they? <laughs> That's me. <laughs> That's me. <laughs>